Hello, Mioni here, and welcome back to another video for Final Fantasy XIV. This one is going to be a little bit different, uh, mostly because what I ended up doing was recording different segments at different periods of time, and then I decided to put this all together today so I can give you sort of like the descent into madness, as we'll call it. So, uh, yes, basically the Ishgard Restoration rankings were a real test of my abilities. I had never even dreamt that I would be taking part in the Ishgard restoration in, in terms of ranking. But yes, um, I did take part and I want to show you how it went down. Because I'm not usually the sort of person that will jump onto this competitive train, but thanks to last time, the last time there was the ranking period on the previous Ishgard restoration uh, iteration, let's call it, I realized how easy it would be to get into the top 12. Now, Understandably, if you get top 100, you get the Beta of the Firmament title. That's something I did acquire last time around very easily. In fact, I was in the top 20, if I remember correctly. This time around, obviously, I wanted to push it a bit further. So the top 12 places give you the Saint of the Firmament as a title. Now, it is just a title. It's bragging rights. You get an achievement with it. And of course, you get to have your name put onto a website on the Sky Builder rankings for your server under that chosen profession. So without further ado, let's take a look through my descent into madness. And uh, yeah, we'll see how I did, shall we? Oh God, this was, this really wasn't something I would recommend in the future for sure. Man, look at this. People are so nice. If you need any mats or gill, let me know. And I'm like, thank you. I'm pounding away says, you're fighting uphill, but we're cheering for you. I don't think people realize how many sleepless nights I've had to even try and stay on top of this. But yeah, oof, what an interesting time this is. And this is just a shadow of what it's been like. I've traded in many, many windows like this, absolutely full. But you do get a lot of cool stuff from it. Like we've got tons of Horace Velger tires and Megalotragus horns. I've no idea what I'm going to do with them yet, but there we go. Oh, I could do this craft in my sleep now. It's getting, well, uh, I practically do. Because where I should be sleeping, I'm actually doing this. Oh, dear, dear, dear. When I come to edit a video together and I'll put this bit in, I don't think people will realize what an uphill struggle it's been this time. And how, if I don't succeed, how painfully depressing it's going to be. And I'll probably not succeed. Fate has an unusual ability of kicking me right where it hurts, especially when I'm trying my hardest here. But, yeah. <sighs> next time, probably not Weaver, eh? <laughs> Hopefully there wouldn't be a next time, though. I just I just want the title, and then I'm done. That's all I want. <laughs> oh, I feel just... I feel terrible right now. I feel terrible. But the show... The show must go on, right? Yes, another one down. Let's go again. <sighs> Weaver, everyone. Oh, here we go. Sorry if this one's a little bit quiet. It's like, what, 2.59 in the morning, my time. That's my local time in the UK. And here we are. I just thought I'd film this again because we're on, what is this number? 98 this will be of this new window. So I've turned in a lot of stuff today as you can probably imagine, so we might as well enjoy the last few bits of this turn in together. Ah, yikes. So let's give a hasty touch there to hopefully get our points up. Tricks of the trade proc, lovely. We've got our manipulation, which is giving us heals each turn. Just another hasty touch there. There we go. So we need 5,800. So 5,800 at least, that's the minimum to get points. Uh, from a turn in, you just physically can't turn it in without being that collectability. So, well, this veneration is going to run out, so we might as well pop that. And then we just rapid synth and hope for the best. Basically. Um, soak that up to get a bit more. We've still got veneration. Ooh, we've got a proc of pliant. So now everything costs 50%, and we've got 45, so that's. A quick master's mend, lovely. And uh, yeah, now it's just a simple case of finishing this one off. We got pretty lucky there, unsurprisingly. 
Let's change this chat though, because we're going to be going to the Ishgard restoration area in a minute. And no doubt someone's going to be interesting. So there we go. That's another 98 turn-ins. Completely unsorted, obviously, because as you craft things, it you know moves things around automatically. But another 98 to turn in. Let's, I, I really don't know if my efforts are actually going to be worth it. That's going to be the thing I wake up to later, or rather, I, I guess I'm not really going to sleep, am I? So we got until, what, 6.59, so 7 a.m. It's 3 a.m. now, 3.01. So if I do another couple of hours of this, we should probably make a dent in it. Of course, I won't know if I've actually made the rankings until we do that other part of the video, but you know. You know what it is. You know how it is, rather. I'm a little bit tired, so if you're a little bit worried about how I sound, it's because I've had basically three hours to four hours sleep uh, for this entire week. So we're already on 252,000 points for Weaver. So let's turn in all this stuff, and I will definitely be fast-forwarding this. There's no way that I'm going to talk you through this. So let's do it. Okay, we've got 10,000 scripts. There's no point wasting those. Let's get ourselves another mount for our uh, eventual sales collection. Just get another Megalotragus, although I do end up seemingly giving these to our FC members because they're not doing any of this uh, Ishgard restoration this time. It's sort of fallen to me to provide as many as possible. But after this, I'm going to need a serious guild transaction. So we've got Coupo vouchers as well. Presumably we now have inventory space though. There we go. Jolly good. Let's see what we get from these 10 then. Basically a lot of this will just be vended. Sulfic flower vendors. Uh, flower vendors? Flower vases, vases, whatever you want to call it. I wouldn't mind a Nidhogg scale to be honest, but it's, it's not going to give me that, is it? Sadly. Because we could make a kick-ass looking weapon, but... Tis what it is. Okay, Guile Materia, nothing great. I wouldn't mind seeing one of the Terranodons. I actually was given a Terranodon for a video um, when we looked at the Terranodon minion. But I've not, out of all of these turn-ins, not a single one. I get the Ugly Duckling quite a lot, actually, popping off of these, but my RNG has been, frankly, ridiculously bad, so if it wasn't for the support and love of my community there's no way i would have featured half of the stuff i featured in videos so i do have to thank all of the people that gave me stuff early on for those videos but yeah it's been it's been one heck of a journey a very tiring and eye-cracking nerve-wracking journey there we go we got a petite pteranodon and which is poorly was it even on there of course it wasn't <laughs> wasn't even an available prize. I hate it when it does that. It's like, here's what you could have won, but not really. Because it wasn't even on the scratch list. I find that the most aggravating part about this whole Ishgard restoration Koopa of Fortune system. It's like, here's what you could have won, but you can't. The, the percentage is no. Right, there we go. So we've used those up. Let's turn in some more stuff. So let's go back to fast forward mode. Blah, 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 blah. And there we go, that's the last one out of that pile. So that's our nice clean inventory again. It feels good. Oh, did this one? Oh, I made that one slightly under. That's unfortunate. But one after, out of, what, 90, 92 or something. Ain't too bad. What was it? 90, 98 in total, so 97 of them were turn -inable. I'll accept that. I'll accept that. So what, we at 281,465 points. Is that going to be enough to get me top 10? Or top 12, rather. That's what we're after. I don't even know. I don't even know. But as you can see, 
time is catching up. <sighs> we have four hours. Can we do any more? Have I got enough in me? I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe go till about five or something, but I've got to do fashion report as well as a video. Oh God, wish me luck. Uh, here we go into the last, the last 15 minutes of this, well, just frankly, time consuming and oddly satisfying grind, which doesn't make any sense considering we might not win this. So, yeah, I say win this, I mean be in the top 12. Okay, there we go. So what we got? We got another eight of these to turn in. That's all I could make it. We're right down to the last two minutes. Let's just spam these in just so that we don't miss out on this. You know, every last little bit counts. But honestly, if this isn't enough, I don't know what else I could have done. I tried my absolute hardest in the Ishgard restoration this time around. And that's all I can say, really. That's all I can give towards this. We didn't get to 300k, that was my goal. We didn't manage to achieve that, but 293,652. <sighs> should, we, should we do another one? One minute? Do we have to time to do one craft in one minute and hand it in? Should we give it a go? Let's use the macro to start this off. This is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be tight. <laughs> Can we actually do a final craft? Probably not. One last one, one for the road, right? One to celebrate this momentous amount of time that we have thrown away basically into this. I don't think we physically can. I'll just try and rush this emphasis on it, but I doubt that's physically possible. I have noticed that the firmament is lagging a little bit as well, simply because of how many people are here. Like the server is taking a beating. I think the data center is taking a beating. I've never been more hyped for anything though, um, oh, I pressed the wrong button. That sucks. Come on. Need to get manipulation on uh, veneration. Got plenty of score. Oh, that's a fail. Observe into a rapid synth. Oh, another fail. <laughs> we got, oh, yeah, that's not gonna work. We, fa we fail massively. Less than a minute, yeah, we couldn't do it. But we did get eight last ones, so yeah, like I say, our last score, 293, 654, and we started, uh, we started the day, uh, where were we? We were at 232,244, so now we've got 293. That's a significant uh, increase, I think you'll agree. And there we go, that was the Ishgard restoration for this particular patch for 5.31. What an incredible patch this has been. I'm looking forward to exploring all of the up, upcoming changes. I really, really hope that I'll be on those leaderboards, but at this moment I have absolutely no idea. Um, <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see how far we get pushed down, if we get pushed down at all. Or if we don't manage to make it, or if we do manage to make it, it will be a Christmas miracle. But there we go. That's it. The restoration is done. Rankings are being calculated. So I think we uh, I think we deserve some sleep now. <laughs> I think that's pretty much where we're going to go. So the next part of this video uh, hopefully will be when the rankings are calculated. So we should see that within a couple of hours. But until then, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to get some rest. But yeah, I couldn't be happier, really. I really tried this time around. I know some of you are like master craftsmen, and you might be going, wow, that score's a bit low, Mione. You could have gone into the 300,000s. There were people in the 500Ks. There was people with a million points. I'm not on the same level as those people. I tried my hardest, but I'm not the master craftsman. I really am not. So there it is. Oh, we can get another... We can get another... Um, Another mount for somebody in the FC, so that's always useful. Right, there we go. Lovely jet. Oh no, we can't quite. We need a few more. Another 200. Okay, 
so the question is then, how did I do? I've given it a bit of time, I went to sleep. But yes, I woke up to some pretty good news. Uh, so obviously I tried with Weaver. Let's just go through these, see what sort of points people got on Ragnarok on my data center. So this is the Carpenter list. Elan from my guild, my FC, did fantastically well there with all of those fours. You should have rounded that up to another 44, to be perfectly honest. Managed to get into the top 12, so that's one FC member that managed to make it. Congratulations to them. I mean, some of these points were ridiculous. Look at that. Whew. We had people on Blacksmith. This time around, I will say it was incredibly competitive, especially in this top, sort of like seven of most of the places for this stuff. Like, that's ridiculous, isn't it? There you go. This time we're looking at armor. Like, some of these scores are just mind-blowing. Now, of course, I say they're mind-blowing, but if you look at, like, Tonbury server or many other data centers, this will look really small. But for Ragnarok, this is really good. This is really, really good comparis in, in comparison to what, um, what it was like last time. So here's Lever Worker again. These scores are pretty sane, pretty good. Uh, we're going to skip over Weaver just for a second. Give it the ultimate suspense. Then we have Alchemist. Look at these points. Wow, that's uh, that's some big that's some big pointage right there. Congratulations to anybody on this list, by the way. I find it um, there's there's too much salt in this community in terms of this stuff. Massive congratulations. This took a lot of effort. Uh, a lot of people don't realize how many sleepless nights and how much effort you need to put in for this stuff. That's awesome that you managed to round that up, by the way, without getting any extra points. <laughs> That's pretty entertaining. Uh, here we go, though. These are the interesting ones. Like, this is Miner, for example. Oof. Miner and gathering and fishing, yes. These points are even harder to come by in many ways than crafting. Here you go. Here's the botanist. That's a lot of points, dude. That is a lot of points. 1,300,000. Well, what is it? 32,000, sorry. 1,032,000. That's a lot of points. And then we've got Fisher as well. Fisher, though, yeah. Um, it's fairly straightforward, isn't it? You just fish, basically, as the scores will you know, immediately indicate the fact that basically the top 14 are all in that many digits. But anyway, the one we're interested in then, the one I put all of my eggs into one basket for, is Weaver. And we did it. We freaking did it. But look how close this would have been. How close this would have been. So we got 293, 652 points. We managed to scrape 11th place. We were so close to just not doing any extra stuff. And if I hadn't have spent, you know, the, that entire week crafting, there's no way I would have been on this list. You have to put in a lot of work. That's a good score for me. You know, a lot of you will be like, that's a very low score and I'm going to do Weaver next time. Feel free. But, you know, this was incredibly competitive things were changing back to back uh, suddenly you'd have someone appear that handed in like 115,000 points in one day because they filled their retainers stuff like that it was very nerve-wracking very scary and I'm glad it's over but yes we got 11th place which means we get the Saint of the Firmament title and that will be delivered I believe on Wednesday I think it is so we're gonna do another video um, basically showcasing that and uh, just you know, flexing it a little bit. But there we go. That's that's all I have for, for you today. I, I thought that this was worth sharing. Um, tips for people doing this in the future. Uh, be sure that you want to do it. Make sure you have a free schedule. Make sure you have a lot of gill or someone to farm the mats for you. That definitely helps. Uh, try and make it an FC effort to try and push different things to different people. Like, choose one person from each of these particular classes and then try and feed, uh, get gatherers to feed them materials. If you don't have that luxury, you're going to have to split your time between either the diadem and crafting, uh, or the market board via gill and then crafting, which is how we ended up doing it with the gill option. Um, but it's very expensive and very time-consuming. Yeah, 
be sure that you actually want it. Bear in mind this is just, you know, cosmetic title. It's nothing too crazy, so I'm mad for doing it. I sacrificed a lot of video time, but uh, I personally think it was worth it just as an experience. A lot of people told me, ah, oh, Mione, you should have tried for it, you should have gone for it. Well, I went for it this time and I achieved it, so that's all that matters. I can tick that box and we can become the saint of the firmament when this gets delivered. I'm incredibly happy, um, but yes, still recovering from last week. Uh, this entire weekend, I was just like half dead, and I'll probably continue to be for this week uh, going forward. But anyway, Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know how you did. Did you rank? Did you get top 12? Or were you aiming for top 100? Because all of these lovely people here, all of you got the beta of the firmament title on all of these categories. And uh, yes, the top 12 is one heck of a competitive scene. I did not expect it to be so good. And um, I'm certainly feeling very good about the fact that I achieved even this poultry score. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Let me know how yours went, if you took place at all, if you plan to in the future, because scrubs like me can actually get on rankings. That should be enough encouragement for you. And uh, I'll see you all next time. So, so chuffed with that one. I really am.